In this video, we'll demonstrate how to log your catch using the iAngler Tournament mobile application. When you log into the mobile app, your tournament homepage will be displayed. From this page, you can view information about the tournament, and you can take the option to log a catch. The Add Catch screen is the screen you'll use to load the photo of your catch, along with record the length information and any other information required by the tournament. We've added a graphic at the top of the screen to indicate how the fish should be laid out on the measuring device. There are two buttons at the top of the screen that can be used to add your catch photo. The Take Photo Camera button is used to activate the camera function from within the mobile app. It will allow you to take the photo, select the option to use the photo, and the photo will be displayed at the top of the screen. You can then preview the photo, determine if it's acceptable, and if it is, go ahead and submit the catch length and submit the catch, or if it's not acceptable, take the option to remove the photo, and you can take another photo. Most anglers don't use this option. They use the other button to get from gallery. This option allows you to take multiple photos without activating the app, then select from the photo gallery to choose the correct photo. It will be displayed at the top of the screen. You then can preview it, manipulate it, and if it's acceptable, go ahead and start entering in your catch information. For most tournaments, the length information is the only data that's required before submission of the catch. You'll use the app keyboard to enter the length. If additional information is required, you can scroll down to enter the data required for other fields. If no other data is required, you'll use the Submit button in the lower right-hand corner to submit your catch. If you don't have internet connectivity, your catch will be placed on hold. You'll be asked if you'd like to submit your catch. You answer yes, and an indicator will tell you that the transmission is occurring and that your catch has been submitted to the server. Upon submitting your catch, the catch log will be displayed. This screen allows you to see all of the catches you've submitted in the tournament so far. You can scroll through those photos and use the View button to see the detail about each of those catches. If you click on the On Hold field, you'll see the, all catches that have been entered by you but have not been submitted for approval. You can use that, that screen to make changes to the catch submission, and actually use the green button at the bottom to submit the catch. The Submit It button allows you to view the catches that have been submitted so far. These catches have been sent to the server, have been received by the server, but have not yet been judged by the tournament director. They cannot be edited. The Approved button will allow you to see those catches that have been approved by the tournament director. You'll see the detail for those catches along with how many points were awarded for the catch. The Rejected button allows you to see those catches that were rejected. By selecting the View button, you can see additional detail about the catch, including the reason why that catch was rejected. You can use the Back button or the arrow at the top of the screen to return to the catch log. It's extremely important that you understand how to manage the catch log during the tournament. As you probably already know, you should never have any items on hold when the tournament ends. Items may be placed on hold if there's not internet connectivity while you're on the water or if transmission errors occur while you're submitting your catches. If you're unable to resolve these items and submit them while you're out on the water, please be sure to return to tournament headquarters before the end of the tournament to make sure that you can work with the tournament director to resolve any issues with the catches. You want to make sure that all of your catches count and are scored properly. This concludes our demonstration. Good luck in the tournament and thanks for using the Angler Tournament system.